Hello, Moto. Darren Pipster and friends will continue on, not only we have new characters, but only more people to join in the fun. Enjoy the show while it lasts. This one time on. Not really. I didn't think so. Ooh, wait, I almost forgot my coupons. There's a couple double ones in there, too. Sir, these expired over 30 years ago. What does it mean? It means they're no good, sir. I'll just throw those away for you. No, wait. I'll take them. Actually, Darren do. I'll take them. Okay, sir. Your change for day is going to be exactly 10 cents. Well, Darren dude, I'll be a geriatric jellyfish. Ginger found a penny while being with his mom, Ellie. A bright shiny penny just sitting there, and he picked it right up. Huh? I can remember the whole thing as if it just happened a moment ago. Darren and Kitsune, you are both holding up the line. Next, please. Interesting how things work out that way. Some folks just walk along and stumble over free money, while others, others, they work. I mean, why couldn't I have just walked along and found it? I have legs, too, you know. Same goes for you, Darren, Ginger, Ellie, and Hank. How about a little music? Okay, okay, get a grip, Darren and Kitsune. Just concentrate on driving. Actually, I'm not driving, you are. I agree with Darren, you are driving. And I am not. Okay, getting all worked up over a little coin? Ah, uh, it must just be the full moon. Wait a second. Okay, Mao Mao, have a great day at work. I'll be picking you up after I get off work at Tesla High School. Good morning, Mao Mao. Good morning, Miss Madsen. Find anything special lately? Yes. Really? You. And you want to share it with your wonderful manager, Miss Madsen, don't you, Mao Mao? Of course. Great. Well, share it with me. Ha 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 ha. I already am sharing it with you, Miss Madsen. Wah. What? The thing I found was the bright, shiny, new day. Well, I'll be in the kitchen if you meet me. Good morning, Harry. Don't talk to me. Miss Madsen seems to be in a good mood today. That counts as talking. Whoa. Hello again, Miss Madsen. Hello, Mao Mao. What can I do you for? Can I borrow a penny? A penny? Sure. Hmm, sorry. All out of pennies right now. But did you check all your pockets? Well, I thought I did. Front pockets? Hmm, no. Back? Mm -hmm. Shirt pockets? No. Shoe pockets? Ha 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 ha. Shoe pockets. Oh, Miss Madsen, that is just ridiculous.
Hurry, these deafening construction sounds are preventing me from working. Me, too. Same here. Do you think we should walk out back to investigate? Never. The sounds are coming from back here. What the? Careful with those marquee ladders. Hey, Miss Madsen, you made your own movie theater. Yes, I did. Yay. And you're just in time for the grand opening. Step right up, folks, and witness a spellbinding tale chalk full of adventure and action and thrills. You know, I'm not really hungry. Yeah, let's go see what this pink star girl is yelling about. Witness the terrifying challenges overcome by, by, by ho, by a, by a plucky young cat. Just like me. That's right. And the best part is, admission is only one penny. Does a movie like that even exist? Yeah, does it? Uh, well, actually, I was going to show you this flip book and... A flip book? Yeah, I don't even know what that is. God damn it, Wegra. Miss Madsen, can I see the movie now? Please? Of course you can, Mao Mao. You just gotta give me one penny. But, but... But what? But, I really don't have a penny. Well, I guess we'll come up with another plan, then. Huh, that's too bad. I really wanted to see that movie. Oh, well. Good evening, and welcome to the Pizza Wolf semi-annual charity night. Harry, you look beautiful. Let me show you to your table. Why the heck aren't there any seats available for me? I didn't steal a penny. Hello ladies and gentlemen of the Pizza Wolf community, and welcome to a very important evening. Tonight's event is entitled, Pennies, for the Penny Less. And before the following images are shown, I would ask each of you to look not look with your eyes, but with your heart. This includes you, Ashley, if you disregard this rule, you will get mauled by Cade the Candy Bear, who is angry, also known as by the Angry People a Rage Bear. Three dimes. Two nickels. One quarter. Zero pennies. And since I realize the images seen here tonight may be wretchedly hideous, I am going to tell you what you can do to end this travesty. You can donate one penny to me, Miss Madsen. Also known as, Miss Madsen, the pink star girl with the yellow pigtails and pink bow ties who doesn't have one. You can also donate a penny to Jenny Madsen, Astro Madsen, and Dave Madsen, as well as 2TCH Hodges and Timothy Lai, both of whom aren't here for the presentation. God damn it, Wegra. Everybody is crying except for Serena and me. Well, that's why I don't go to this very important event regarding money because I go go off. I would like to donate a pen, if I only had one. Not to worry, there will be more pennies soon. Russia said it had destroyed a training center for foreign mercenaries near the city of Odessa. A defense ministry spokesperson said in a briefing, High-precision missiles of the Bastion Coastal Missile System destroyed a foreign mercenary assembly in training center near the village of Krasnosilka, northeast of Odessa. However, this claim could not be verified. A train station in Kramatorsk was hit by a Russian rocket strike, killing at least 52 people and wounding 87 to 300 others. Pavlo Kirilenko, the governor of the Donetsk region, said thousands of people had been at the station at the time the two rockets struck. Kirilenko published a photograph online showing several bodies on the ground beside piles of suitcases and other luggage. Armed police personnel wearing flak jackets were also visible. Another photo showed rescue services tackling what appeared to be a fire, with a pall of grey smoke rising into the air. However, these photos could not be immediately verified. The Russian Ministry of Defense denied the attack and said in a statement, all statements by representatives of the Kiev nationalist regime about the rocket attack allegedly carried out by Russia on April 8 at the railway station in the city of Kramatorsk are a provocation and are absolutely untrue. This just in, Russian forces again hit a storage tank containing nitric acid in Rubizn, according to Suri Haidai, the governor of Ukraine's Luhansk region. He added that the tank contained about three tons of nitric acid. We'll have more of the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine tomorrow. But for right now, 
Please stay tuned to 77 Action News for more information. I'm Lizzie Larson. Good night. Hiding it somewhere. Hiding it. Hiding it. Hiding it. Hiding it. What's that? You. You know where. Tell where. Hiding it inside, in there, somewhere. Miss Madsen, what is this metal detector doing on the floor? These should only be stored on special racks. And you're not wearing your metal detector handling gloves. Darren, I just wanted that penny you found on the street yesterday. I'm sorry. Miss M, that wasn't a penny. Also, Ginger found it. It wasn't? No, that was just the TV broadcasting the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine on 77 Action News. Ah. Uh. Ha! 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 Who? Who? I feel so relieved. There was no penny after all. Well, I'll be going now. You can keep the metal detector, Darren and Diamond Leaf. See you two another time. Bye. Thanks, Miss M. Let's continue watching 77 Action News about the Russian-Ukraine war that is still going on. We're back. I'm Ashton Marion. And I'm Lizzie Larson. Russian missiles hit the cities of Poltava and Kremenchuk in central Ukraine early on April 2, damaging infrastructure and residential buildings, the head of the Poltava region, Dmitro Lunin said, Poltava city is the capital of the Poltava region and Kremenchuk is one of the area's major cities. Lunin later said that at least four missiles hit two infrastructure objects in Poltava while, according to preliminary information, three enemy planes attacked the industrial facilities of Kremenchuk. He also added that there was no immediate information about possible casualties. However, neither of these incidents could be immediately verified. The Kiev offensive had also fallen apart several days after Russia said it would withdraw some troops from the north. The Russians retreated all the way back to Chernobyl. Ukraine's deputy defense minister, Hanna Melier, later confirmed that Ukrainian forces had retaken control over all of Kiev Oblast. Yes, Lizzie. Corpses were found in Bucha resulting from the Bucha massacre, with at least 20 dead Ukrainian civilians having been seen by reporters and, according to Bucha's mayor, 280 bodies having been buried in mass graves. Human Rights Watch reported war crimes in the occupied areas of Ukraine, executions, rape, torture, and lootings. The Ukrainian Defense Ministry reported that Lithuanian film director Mantis Kvidarovicius was shot and killed in Mariupol while trying to escape. Back to you, Lizzie. Thanks, Ashton. Zelensky accused Russia of genocide and said that sanctions from the West were not enough to respond to Russia's actions. The United States began pushing to suspend Russia from the United Nations Human Rights Council. Putin signed a decree restricting visas to nationals from countries deemed unfriendly to Russia. Russia accused Ukraine of orchestrating a false flag in Bucha, claiming that the photos and videos were a staged performance. United States President Joe Biden called for Putin to be tried for war crimes committed by Russian soldiers in Bucha. Suri Haidai, the governor of Ukraine's Luhansk region, said that a Russian strike had hit a tank containing nitric acid. He added that the incident occurred near the city of Rubizn, which the Ukrainian military said Russian forces had been trying to take over. However, this claim could not be verified independently. Back to you, Ashton. Thanks, Lizzie. Zelensky addressed the United Nations Security Council regarding the events in Bucha. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said that Russia was not opposed to a meeting between Putin and Zelensky, but such a meeting would only be held if a document was agreed upon beforehand. Back to you, Lizzie. Thanks, Ashton. Pope Francis criticized the impotence of international organizations failing to stop the invasion. Russian artillery fire killed at least four people and wounded four others at a humanitarian aid distribution point on Wednesday as Russian forces bombarded towns, cities and rail infrastructure in eastern Ukraine, local officials said. 
Later, Ukrainian railways reported there were a number of casualties after three rockets hit an unspecified rail station in the east, without giving further details. Back to you, Ashton. Thanks, Lizzie. The Russian Defense Ministry said its missiles had destroyed four fuel storage facilities in the Ukrainian cities of Mykolaiv, Kharkiv, Zaporizhia and Chuiv overnight. The ministry claimed that the facilities were used by Ukraine to supply its troops near the cities of Mykolaiv and Kharkiv and in the Donbass region in the far southeast. Zelensky told the Greek parliament that Ukraine needed more anti-aircraft systems, artillery systems, ammunition, and armored vehicles. In Brussels, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba asked NATO for weapons, weapons, and weapons. The United States Congress began passing a bill that would make it easier to send weapons to Ukraine. The United Nations General Assembly expelled Russia from the UN Human Rights Council. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov admitted that Russia had suffered significant losses and called the casualties a tragedy. Well, that's it for tonight. I'm Ashton Marion. And I'm Lizzie Larson, and this has been your 77 Action News for tonight. We'll keep you updated on the latest Russia and Ukraine news when they develop. Good night, again. Penny, he must have buried it around here somewhere. I'll just have to keep digging. Just like the street lights lit this time Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how I see danger in your eyes They know we'll go down the night Come in just like the sun Bye.